Hey guys, today we have an HP stream and this particular device is having Wi-Fi issues. As you can see right here on the bottom right, I don't see any Wi-Fi options. All I see is Bluetooth, airplane mode, and that's it. No Wi-Fi at all. So first thing I did is I'm going into device manager and I'm looking for any devices that are having issues. But you also want to look for the network adapters, which is right here. So this is our network adapter, right? I see the WAN mini port. Uh, we're definitely having the Wi-Fi issued here. Uh, and that is the reason why. So right now I'm going to try to, you know, see if I can scan hardware changes. So right top here, scan for hardware changes. Let's see what pops up. As you can see down here, these are other devices, which means these are devices that don't have any drivers, and it should be having a driver. So I'm going to right-click and say Update Driver, and we're going to search automatically. And Windows couldn't find these drivers. So that means I need to download these drivers and have them available. So we're going to go ahead and see if we could get a Windows... Uh, uh, installer uh, or if I could put this computer on the internet using one of those adapters so I should have an adapter right here there we go so I'm gonna use one of these to put in the internet and try to fix all of my issues uh, so we got the little port right here so we're gonna plug it here there you go. This is one way to get it out on the internet so you could download the necessary drivers. And uh, let me see if I can get a cable that reaches. Okay, pretty, pretty close. Uh, but we're going to be plugging this right now and I'm going to be doing a Windows update. Okay, so I got it plugged. As you can see, I got network activity. And right now, we got the Windows update running. It's checking for update. And that is one way to handle the drivers that are missing. So you can install them. And that would be the Wi-Fi drivers, one of them. Hey, guys. Just wanted to give you an update. While working on this laptop, Windows Update would not work properly. It keeps uh, getting stuck on 0%. And here's how I was able to fix that issue. I created a new local account. You see right there, I called test. So basically, this is a brand new account. If your account has issues, is corrupted, create a new local test account and give that account admin privilege and then go back into Windows Update. So right now, as you can see, my Windows Update is getting completed and it wants a restart. But instead of doing a restart, I'm going to go ahead and continue to download and install. Um, literally, I have so many. I don't want to reboot every time for every update. So I'm going to keep on just doing these. I uh, probably could do all of them at one shot, but... Um, I'm just going to go ahead and keep doing these. Once I get them all done, then I'll go ahead and do the restart. But this is the way to update uh, Windows without having to, uh, you know, uh, deal with the issue or installing the operating system from scratch, right? I didn't want to go through all that and lose data. So look at that, just completing. So let's keep it going. Hey guys, since I was unable to get the Wi-Fi to work with the Windows update, did all the updates, could not get it to work. So that means the issue is hardware. So I'm already taking it apart, remove the bottom uh, rubber pieces, and now we're going to pull out all these screws in the bottom. This is how you open this up, and then we're going to crack it open. Okay, so next pry the edges until you lift the whole thing up 
but careful you're gonna have some issues right here in the middle so I'm literally gonna gonna move it forward and try to go from the top here to disconnect these ribbon cables so one is a keyboard the other one is the trackpad right next to each other once you get those two you have one more over here on this end boom got all three of them out but there's also a little tab here that was kind of stuck it was a little hard right in the middle you're gonna have to pry that a little harder um, because they love to make things harder than they should be okay next we're just gonna remove the Wi-Fi module which is right here and then we're gonna put it back we're hoping that's gonna be our solution but before I do that I'm gonna unplug the battery you don't want to do anything with the battery plugs right so always use caution just pull this baby out actually I'm not even gonna disconnect the back I'm just gonna pull it out inspect it I'm actually going to inspect it under the microscope since I have one just to see if I see anything wrong with it looks fine looks good let me lift this up a little yep so I'm just gonna receive this just because these things sometimes have been seated for so long that when you have an issue reseating it but the thing is even if this is not seated properly all you would get was a weak Wi-Fi not having the Wi-Fi module show up at all that means this card yeah there's not much to this not much uh, everything else is on the inside under this so worst comes to worst this whole board uh, would have to be replaced but all the contacts look fine so we're gonna put it back and let's put this screw back and we're gonna connect everything back on and give it another test and just hope we are lucky this is a very stupid design but it is what it is so from the side is where you could get this to connect a little easier because any other way it's harder I'm trying to get as much lighting as I can in here come on get in there this is right open let's try to get as equally as possible there we go got it in that one is done next we have this one which I'm gonna open this up first and sometimes it's easier having a little twizzer let me just put my hands like this kind of connect it from the bottom okay once I let it go it kind of came off so you want to make sure it seats properly otherwise no good see I still can't get it nice and neat in there so I have to keep trying until it sits properly 
which I got it this time. Look at that, nice and beautiful. Okay, let's do this corner. And then we are good for testing. Get in there. These things are never easy. Trust. They're a pain purposely. And now we're going to connect the battery back on. Battery is connected. Everything's connected. We're looking good. I'm not even going to put everything back on latch or anything we're just gonna turn on the power and we're gonna look at the Wi-Fi module and see if we got lucky so let's see yep I did press the power button let's try one more time I may need to put some power in it so let's get the power Okay, so I came on while I was looking for the power. I'm going to plug it anyway. Power adapter have been plugged. And it's booting up. Pray that we're lucky. Okay, there's some updates okay updates have finished now we're gonna log in and let's see look at that we still have the issue connections available so we're gonna go into F work settings oh look at that we got our Wi-Fi module so Removing that card, putting it back, got our Wi-Fi module on. And now all we need to do is pick a uh, Wi-Fi uh, network. And man, I am freaking happy. Let's see how many available network. Yeah, we got a few. So I'm just gonna pick one, connect to. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are having a Wi-Fi issue and you're not able to get it to work via hardware, it's definitely software. But if it's not software, then it's hardware. Me removing that card on the inside and putting it back solved our issue. So if you have the same problem, do the same thing. Good luck.